You know, I don't know what it is, but we're always so drawn to people who fail. You know what's like super popular on YouTube is these videos. It's like, what happened to blank? And we're just like preying on the downfall of people, you know? Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know what it is about it, but it's so exciting. Like when YouTubers fall off, it's just like the best day in the world for some people. And I don't know why it is, but we're not really proving ourselves right or wrong here because we're in the exact same boat. <laughs> this is a list of the 26 biggest NFL draft busts of the last 15, 15 years. years. And I am looking at Money Manziel. That makes me so sad. Already. Just there's one raid on the, the front cover. What is it? What, what I don't get, I, I know that he's a bust, okay? But why was he a bust? He was so good in college. I want him to be good in the league so bad. Dude, and he's just not. So like there's just so many players that that happens to. Like, yeah. I mean Tebow. Yeah. I mean you could Manziel. look at you could look at Deshaun Watson. He could never he could he hasn't played in so long. He could come back and just be buns. He won't count as a bust. No, Deshaun Watson. You never know, lead, dude. You he's never already know. played in the NFL and he's proven himself as a lead. He's his muscles are so loose from all the <laughs> massages he gets, dude. It's he's gonna, gonna make gonna him limber. There, it's like, like Harry Potter when he like took the bone out of his arm, dude. He's invincible. <laughs> He's never gonna get fucking injured. We'll start here. I don't know some of these. Some of these players. Oh my I don't god, know, but you, Roberto you might know. Aguayo. Yeah. I am pretty sure. Yeah, Florida State, dude. He played with Jameis Winston. He was so good. Ooh, Everybody dude. was like, "This is gonna be the next Justin Tucker. This is the best kicker ever." He was trash. Selected second round. Mm -hmm. is that's pretty. Is that pretty that high is for a kicker? So high yeah. for a kicker. He was like one of the most touted kickers coming out of college. Yeah. Second wow. round kicker to Tampa Seasons Bay. Seasons as a starter, one. The Bucks traded up to select a kicker. And he was waived before his second season after missing nine field goals and two extra points. He was horrible as a rookie. I don't know what it is. I don't know if that much extra pressure now that his career was on the line. Because yeah. the thing is, like, there's a lot of pressure on you at Florida State. They went right. to the Natty that year. Like, Yeah, you're playing big teams, too. It's not, it's not like, like, you know, you can't say, oh, this guy's not clutch under pressure. I don't yeah. know if... I guess maybe once he started getting paid, it started to get really tough for him. But right. yeah, it just sucks, dude. Yeah. Christian Hackenberg. I remember this name. I recognize that name, mm -hmm. too. 2016 draft to the New York Jets. He was a second round quarterback, so no one thought he was going to be like that insane, but he never appeared in a regular season game. He spent time on the roster of four NFL teams in three years and most recently struggled in his time as a starter in the AAF. He struggled in the AAF, bro. Hey, I will say, four NFL teams in three years, he got his back. Bag. Hopefully he right, invested exactly. his money well. He's moved on to do something else and um, he made a good amount of money. So that's good. What? Well, actually, okay. This is an interesting one because if you think about Rashad Penny right now and last year, Rashad Penny performed very, very well in loss of Chris Carter. But just because you perform well in a season or perform kind of well in a season does not mean you're not a bust. I would not call Rashad Penny one of the biggest busts of all time. So I disagree with this list here, yeah. but he was a first round running back pick. He has not been the primary starter at any point in his career is only a primary starter because Chris Carson got hurt and then he was RB1. Chris Carter, fuck. Chris Carson. Okay, guys, I talk a lot, okay? You know exactly who I'm talking about, bro. No, I Wanted still agree with sure. Rashad Penny, though. Rashad Penny yeah. was, he has never been the primary starter. He's only the starter because Chris Carson got hurt. He was the backup. And now he's about to lose his job to Kenneth Walker. And yeah. he's that's a second round running back. Walker was pick 41, I believe, so he's gonna lose his job. Penny's heading into the final year of his rookie contract with less than a thousand career rushing yards no career starts he's only appeared in 27 games but yeah you know what he closed out last season well so i think if they were to rewrite this they're taking him off of there philip dorsett he was okay he has been okay everywhere that he's been he was okay on the patriots i think brady made him a little better than he probably was and then he was on the colts he was a first round pick zero seasons as the primary starter i assume they're talking about wide receiver one i like this list because it's kind of controversial paxton right. lynch oh my goodness i remember him bro yeah it's tough i think every single year usually has a first round quarterback who just sucked. It's just that yes. hard in the NFL. Yeah. But yeah, Paxton Lynch, I remember when the Broncos were talking about this guy, zero seasons as a primary starter. And obviously, if you're on this list, you have zero Pro Bowls. He's driving the hopes of being the heir to Peyton Manning, but in two seasons, he started just four games. But now they got Drew Locke, right? And then traded him away. So the Broncos have just been struggling. So they the Broncos finally said, fuck it, we're done drafting quarterbacks. Let's just trade for Russell Wilson. Yeah, I think did. getting like cut to as a quarterback has got to be one of the hardest positions to come back from. Like mm -hmm. being out of the game for a year let's say yeah like the quarterback because you're you got to learn the whole offense you got to learn the whole insides and outs of it and if you're out for a year like just doing your own practices at mm -hmm. home or like lifting it's got to be so hard like as a receiver you you learn your routes you're blocking but like the i don't know some people say some so people much. think of the patrick mahomes theory What's they that? intentionally so alex smith was the quarterback in kansas city mm -hmm. and when they drafted mahomes he did not play his entire first year they said we want you 
to, to be the backup to Alex Smith. We want you to learn, yeah. and then you're going to come and be the starter yeah, next I think year. Learning really well would be, for him. Is, I'm, I'm saying getting cut like from the oh, team. Like yeah, You're yeah. just off a team. Like I feel like yeah. that's really hard to bounce back Imagine from. Imagine just being on your a, couch like, watching that's what I'm saying. Like, NFL games. I feel like there's no way to actually train like you would if you're actually on the team. Mm-hmm. Then you get your own personal trainer. I mean, and you know what quarterback was drafted after Paxton Lynch? Mm-hmm. Dak Prescott. Yeah. There Johnny Manziel. Yeah, first round, 22nd overall. The Browns went through a really rough period of just taking bad quarterbacks. In fact, of just drafting horribly. They got Baker right after this. After Manziel didn't pan out, they got Baker. Oh, wow. Read this. Holy shit. Cleveland took Manziel after the 2012 Heisman winner sent a text instructing Browns quarterbacks coach Dow Logans to hurry up and draft me because I want to be there. In less than two years, he had checked himself into rehab, was accused of assaulting his girlfriend, and was ultimately released after two seasons and just 258 passes as a professional. He tried a comeback stint in the CFL and the AAF, and now says he's hoping to become a huh. pro golfer. Well, if you can beat your wife slash girlfriend, you can be one of the best golfers of all time. So Manziel, you've got a good future ahead of you. Let's keep Money going. Money Manziel, here. baby. Money Manziel, baby. Taco Charlton. Oh my God, I remember this guy. Yeah. yeah. For, he's First round mission. pick. He's been bounced around teams. He just wasn't it. I think it's really, it is hard though. It, I think it's hard to get really solid uh, right end and left end talent late in the draft. You'll always see that the good defensive ends go in the top 10. Like, I think a good example this year to see if that's true or not is Jermaine Johnson. Jermaine Johnson was taken 26th by the Jets. He fell a lot further than a lot of people thought he was supposed mm-hmm. to. But if he does not pan out, this kind of continues to be true. But I, right. I think Jermaine Johnson will pan out. I don't think he was supposed to go that far. <laughs> Matt Leinart. Yeah. First round, 10th overall. Played for the Cardinals, the Texans, and the Raiders. He had one year as a starter. He chose to return to UFC for a senior season and saw his stock plummet. That sucks. That's, yeah, that That is sucks tough. so bad. I hope he got paid by USC. They were paying people back in 2006. Oh, for so. sure. He probably got a fucking bag. Was that Reggie Bush era? It's close to that era. I don't know if that's exactly Reggie Bush, but this is the era when it's like, no, we're not paying players. We're just buying their parents a million dollar house yeah, in right. Southern California. And, and if they happen to want to relocate and send their son to our school, well, then that's just extra cool. But we would never pay them. It's like, hey, hey, Mrs. Leinart, how'd you get that million dollar house in uh, Southern California? Oh, what, what do you know? <laughs> I, I had an <laughs> Uncle Larry who passed away. He handed it down to me. Interesting. To DeAndre Baker, first round 30th overall. I haven't even heard of him since this. Oh my God, this is a 2019 draft. I remember this. Accused of armed robbery and aggravated assault last summer by friends at a party. Oh, I remember this. The charges were eventually dropped and Baker earned a second chance with the Chiefs, but only played in two games as a backup. Damn. Tough. I remember this dude. He showed up to like a cookout. Damn, is bad. I never heard of that one. Justin Gilbert. Oh my God. I forgot about this guy too. First round eighth. Dude, overall. isn't it crazy how just if you like never saw this name again, like you would never, you just, they just fall off. They no, just I never... quite literally ratio plus fell off. And also I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of Browns on this list. <laughs> dude, yeah, they're coming through. Started three games across two seasons before the Browns traded him to Pittsburgh for a six round pick. He was suspended for the entire 2017 season for violating the league's substance abuse policy and hasn't played in the NFL since. Jake Locker. Oh my God, this guy, bro. Eighth overall pick. They projected Locker as the top pick in the 2010 draft for opting to return to Washington. A poor senior season didn't hurt his stock too much. Taking eighth overall, started 23 games. He was replaced by Zach Mettenberger. That should tell you everything you need to know. Locker retired after the 2014 season, citing a lack of desire to huh. keep playing. Yeah, I wouldn't want to play either if I sucked ass. <laughs> yeah. Kevin White. Oh my God, I remember this guy. Dude, he was like a beast in like Madden Mobile or something because he was super fast. Kevin White, first round seventh overall to the Bears. In five seasons, White is yet to catch a touchdown in the NFL thanks to a series of injuries and the fact that he plays for the Chicago Bears. Oh, sorry. That wasn't actually written right there. Bears let White become a free agent after the 28th season. He signed with the Cardinals and the 2020 season with the 49ers. I do remember Kevin White. Yeah, he was just one of those guys who just kind of floated teams, you know? Golston. Is he related to William Golston? I was just going to say, University? is that a dude from Michigan State? I assume. First round, 08 draft, the Jets appear on here once again. He looked like he had the right combination of size and speed to succeed. He had the highest bench press score at the draft combine. He struggled throughout his tenure, starting just five games, going without a sack in three Oof. years. Holy shit, oh. that's horrible. And never played never again. Never played another game. Jets oh. times three. Marky Mark, Mark Sanchez. Sanchez. Dude. First round, fifth overall, best known for the butt fumble. Five years as a starter, though. Dude, you hey. can. that's the thing about the NFL. You can be a bad quarterback and start. Sanchez went back to back conference championship appearances in his first two seasons, but he never materialized into franchise QB. He threw 69 interceptions. Nice. 
in just four years. And then he became a serviceable backup. Finished his career with 87 touchdowns and 89 interceptions in 79 career games. I mean, yeah, if you're a first round fifth over overall pick to be that bad is a bust, but five, yeah, five seasons, seasons as a primary as starter? Starting. You're a starting quarterback in the league. Justin, Justin Blackman. Blackman. I Oklahoma thought State. he was kind of decent, was he not? Blackman was a stark example of how drug and alcohol use can derail a promising career. That's sad. Things started out well enough, but after leading all rookies, Blackman was hit with two suspensions and hasn't played in the NFL since. That's so sad. I hope this doesn't that happen sucks. to Watson, dude. Dude, why are you on his head top? Deshaun Watson's going to come back better than ever. He's going to be the best quarterback in the league. Stop hating. Okay. You're literally a certified hater. No. Oh my God, Josh Rosen was ass. Holy <laughs> dude, shit. Dude, actually, he was on so many. I found a lot of like He's articles. so ass, bro. He was on so many of them. Bro, UCLA is a basketball school. Let's keep it that way. All right. First round, 10th overall. Whole lot of teams going the Fitzpatrick route. Rosen's play or lack thereof over his first three seasons have only legitimized the decisions of every team who passed on him. And the Cardinals appeared to have made the biggest mistake by trading up to select him. Kind of reminds me of the Bears trading up to get money. Mitch Trubisky. Trent Dude, Richardson. He was a menace at he Alabama. So he was so good. Oh my gosh. I think, I think so what a lot good. of people like cite as Trent Richardson's problem was, and people talk about this all the time, it was his vision as a running back. Have you ever seen those videos of Trent Richardson blatantly missing the hole? Mm -mm, like uh -huh. he'll be running like a, a, a pretty standard counter, mm -hmm. you know, where he's got to hit the gap between the center and the yeah, left yeah. guard on the left side, even though the play looks like it's going to the right. Mm -hmm. And he will just blast through the right side. It's clear that the athleticism and the talent is all there, yeah. but the football IQ is yeah, not. That's tough. And and running backs are so replaceable, dude, that he just wasn't it. Yeah. Richardson was hyped as the game's best running back prospect since Adrian Peterson. He did have a solid first season, but they gave up on him quickly. Shipped him to Indianapolis for a first round pick after just 17 games, and it fell off a cliff. I will say, good job, Browns, on that trade. They traded him while his draft stock, or while his trade stock was the absolute highest it could be. Because after that, he did nothing in the league. Deion Jordan, I straight up have no idea who that is. Third round pick in 2013. He made one start for the Dolphins. The Arizona native just couldn't stay out of his own way, racking up three drug suspensions before his third season. After failing a physical, he ultimately caught on with the Seahawks, but started just three games in two seasons before going to Oakland and San Fran. Well, he got paid wow. at least here and there. Vince Young? This is getting down to the nitty gritty here. Vince Young, first round third overall to the Tennessee Titans, two Pro Bowls, four seasons of primary star. You're going to have to really sell me on how he is a bust. Third round pick. Third pick. Oh my God. Guys, you know how hard it is to talk this long? Go, I, I dare any of you motherfuckers to get up here, talk this long, and make no verbal mistakes speaking. Okay? Come on. Good Lord. Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily say he's a bust, but maybe they were just hoping that they could keep him for longer. Not they, but maybe like- The Titans. Who made- Eagles. Despite throwing more interceptions and touchdowns his rookie season, his career got off to a promising start thanks to several fourth quarter comebacks and game winning drives. He was rewarded with a trip to the Pro Bowl. Listen, the Pro Bowl is a popularity contest, so I will not put any, you know, I won't put anything into that. Following the 09 season when the Titans went eight and two with him as a starter, he played just two more seasons in 2012, 2013, 2014. He signed with different NFL teams but was cut before each season. That is really interesting. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I mean, that makes it sound like he's a bust. I mean, if you don't know who that is mm -hmm. and you just read that, you would say, yeah, that's a bust. Yeah, that you know makes sense. I mean, I guess I just know Vince Young so well. I right. hear that name all the time. I, it's hard so to consider him a bust, Texas but it's true. Too. I mean, you only play three years. Think about Tom Brady who's played like 20 something. That's what I'm saying. Like, as a, as a quarterback, you're going for someone that's going to be there for mm -hmm. 10, 15 years. Mm -hmm. So... And listen, I see Robert Griffin the third here and he is just riddled with injuries and it sucks so bad but like that still is the definition of a bust sadly yeah. i love rg3 but a bust is someone who is touted to be an incredible player you hope they're going to be an incredible player for your franchise and they aren't right it doesn't really matter why they aren't whether that's injuries or drugs or prison or they just suck like jamarcus russell fucking sucked rg3 had injuries but both of them were not impactful on their teams i'd say our, jamarcus russell has to be number one on this i would bet my entire life it's jamarcus russell at number one we'll see <laughs> oh <laughs> wow fast, nice. bro. all right let's go back up to rg3 though because i do want to read that and i don't know much about jason smith so i'm excited to read that so he was the first round second overall pick to the washington redskins who at the time were racist 
and now they're super not racist because they're the Washington communists. Mm -hmm. One thing to note, Griffin was the toast of the league after his rookie season with ended with a Pro Bowl appearance and the offensive rookie of the year. It's all town ill from there. Series of frustrating injuries and a growing rift with the coaching staff. It's really sad. It is sad. I loved RG3, dude. Loved him in college. Maybe this article is impression farming. They want you to copy paste it, send it to your friends and say, where the fuck is Ryan Leaf? They're impression farming us. Jason Smith, let's see it. He was Baylor as well. First round, second overall Damn. in 09. His smaller size and inexperience with an NFL style offense proved meaningful question marks in the months leading up to the 09 draft. They were quickly disappointed by his slow transition to the professional game, eventually training the Jets in 2012. He never started another game. I don't know. This is aggressive to put him up there though. I mean, he played with them for three years and they traded him. This is really your second biggest bust of all time. I'm gonna, uh, there's a lot of players I put here that aren't Jason Smith. Jamarcus Russell's the obvious first. You don't have Jamarcus first Russell round, there. You're just a cash. overall. Do you know anything about Jamarcus no, Russell? No, I do Dude, not. Dude, they once said, they were like the staff in, o in Oakland at the time. I think it was Oakland, right? Um, Was so frustrated with Jamarcus Russell's, you know, inability to pick up on things. They kind of basically didn't believe that he was watching film. They'd ask him a question. It was like, okay, are you really paying mm -hmm. attention and doing shit here? So they sent him home with three blank CDs said, Jamarcus, watch these and let's talk about it tomorrow. He says, A-okay. They come back tomorrow. They go, Jamarcus Russell, what do you think? And he starts to tell them about the film. No way. And they were like, this motherfucker. <laughs> Those I were never... blank. I Didn't even pop him in. He also had a clinical addiction. Dude, this guy put on absurd weight. And I'm sure they talk about it in this, but he had like a clinical addiction to Wendy's. What was it? Do you guys know? Not, I'm not doing the fucking Wendy's joke, I'd but it was like the Wendy's that. burger, the yeah. Baconator. He would have like four Baconators a day. Russell was the definition of a can't miss prospect when he declared for the 07 draft. Six foot six, Damn. 260. He was the first round, first overall pick. Everybody would have done it the exact same. Many scouts envision him developing into a superstar with the ability to beat defenses with monster passes and surprising nimble footwork. It never happened. Russell completed 52% of his attempts, was released after the 09 season, attempted multiple comebacks, was never signed. That's just by a team. That's just a sad story right there. You have all that talent mm -hmm. and you just, just grab it. Throw it in the trash. Dude, it sucks so bad. And he put on absurd weight. He straight up didn't give a fuck. He yeah. just didn't give a fuck. I think is the most fair way to say it. He had to be bribed with junior bacon cheeseburgers to watch film. I believe that entirely. That's tough. I completely believe it. Jamarcus Russell has to be on that list. All right, boys. Those are the yeah. biggest busts. Wait, Ryan Leaf, honorable mention though. Guy sucked ass. Total bust. Are you kidding? Me?